Hey guys, welcome back to Dipswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Royal Jelly from Beatronics. I think this is one of the most interesting approaches to uh, drive and fuzz available to us guitarists at the moment. Um, it takes two great sounding circuits and combines them in ways that we are not typically used to. Um, probably ways that are more familiar to bassists or even studio guys, drummers, synths guys. You know, it really challenges what we're used to as guitarists who love simple drive and fuzz sounds. The easiest way to describe this pedal is that it is an overdrive and fuzz blender. We have an overdrive and a fuzz circuit running in parallel to each other and basically gives you the option to blend anywhere between the two. We also have a dry blend here as well to blend back in that some of that clean signal which again is really unique for us guitar players and gives us a wide range of tones. To add to that flexibility we have two presets here so you could set up one side to be a full on fuzz or, and the other side to be maybe like an overdrive sound with a fuzzy texture underneath it maybe or anything basically this, the options are nearly limitless with this pedal. Quickly, let's talk about controls. There's a lot going on here, so I'll skim over it really quickly. The two outside knobs are your blend controls for the two presets. The presets are called Queen and King, although they are identical. You can set them up identically. Then the two knobs on the top here, the ones that are actually upside down, 
um, are your EQ, EQ controls. We have a high and a low. Each one is plus or minus 10 dB, so you can really sculpt your tone there. The middle knob here is your is called Honey and is your gain control for the overdrive circuit. There is no gain control for the fuzz. It's already dialed in to pretty much perfection. I don't even feel like I need a gain control for the fuzz. It's just already great. These two little ones here, we have your dry blend, which I've talked about earlier, and then your overall volume. Three foot switches on the bottom, bypass switch on here, um, and also a preset switch, so that's how you switch between the king and queen sides. And then the middle switch is really cool. It adds a, it's called a buzz switch essentially, but it adds a really nasty, spitty, high end to the fuzz sound. Gives it a bit more of a vintage sound, but really it takes your the fuzz circuit and just goes crazy with it. <laughs> Quick overview of the controls, now let's talk about the circuits themselves. Um, the drive circuit first, um, it's sort of a straight down the middle overdrive sound, it doesn't remind me particularly of anything, um, anything classic anyway, and it's uh, it has a grittiness to it and a transparency, the grittiness especially helps it blend with the fuzz sound. To me it sounds like it's been designed to blend with the fuzz. Um, so I think it works best when you do have a little bit of that fuzz underneath it. On its own it still sounds good, but I much prefer it with a little bit of fuzz underneath. The fuzz side, again, doesn't remind me of anything in particular. It is definitely vintage in Spies. It's got the same sort of characteristics that we associate with those old fuzzers. The approach to this pedal is not something that we as guitar players are often too familiar with. You know, having the two circuits in parallel to us for a star is not something we're used to, especially us guy, as pedal guys have most of our pedals in line most of the time. The dry blend is also sort of a, a something different for us guitar players as well. Usually you would see that much more on bass effects, bass fuzzers and bass drives because they like to have that low end come back through. Um, and because of this, it does work great on bass. In fact, the bass sound in the intro track was all with this pedal just going straight into a plug-in and I thought it sounded great. This pedal covers a lot of ground when it comes to drive sounds and fuzz sounds. Uh, but I really think it's a pedal you could build a whole board around. It could be the heart of your tone if you wanted it to. I think the looks are great. Um, I don't know how many of you are uh, gamers out there, but it really reminds me of something that you might find in the corner of a room of a Fallout game, like Fallout New Vegas. It just looks like something you would see in a video game like that. Sort of apocalyptic in design in a way, uh, but also still old school. I'll be using my Music Man Cutlass. Into this pedal, no other pedals going on, into the Victory V40 set up pretty clean with no reverb. All the reverbs you're hearing is coming from the Boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander, which is also emulating a 212 cab, mic'd up with a ribbon and an SM57. The Tube Amp Expander is then going into my audio interface, Universal Audio Apollo Solo, which has also got a nice mic pre on there and also a bit of reflection, room reflection going on. Um, just so it doesn't feel so dry in when you're listening to it for headphones, for example, and then straight into Logic. This video is sponsored by Beatronics and Face Distribution, who distribute uh, Beatronics over here in Europe, but they're not paid me saying anything in particular. All the opinions are my own, um, and yeah, let's get into some tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and check out some more videos. Also, if you feel like supporting me and the channel more, there's a few links down below like Patreon and a few other things like that you might want to check out. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Cheers.